What's going on? Welcome to another video, tip video here for you on how to beat cover four. I know a lot of people, you probably see a lot of the formations of a 3-3-5 tight or a 4-2-5. Those are the two best defensive playbooks to play. And that's pretty popular with a lot of people. So you probably see a lot of it, but more importantly, you probably see a lot of cover four drop. Now what people do there in the cover four drop, and uh, you know, let's just dive right on into it. No reason to make this video too long. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope this video helps. Leave a comment down below if you guys want more of these videos on how to beat certain zones and how to target certain things. So let's dive right on into the video here. So let's just talk about cover four, right? So cover four is one of the most important, not most important, most important ways to stop a deep ball, but it's what a lot of people run. So you can see here that it has four guys over the top, so four blue zones to stop the go balls, the deep balls. It has two guys going to the quarter flats, they're called, which is to stop the corner routes. And then you usually have one guy in the middle who's just manning the middle of the field. The goal of this is to keep the ball in front of you, right? People have to just run the ball against you. They have to throw it short against you, and you can't really hit them deep over the top. And if you want to attack deep over the top, you're most likely going to throw an interception. And that's what people do because people's attention spans are very small and they will throw it short a couple times, but then they're just like, I just want to throw it deep. I just want to throw a touchdown. I just want to score quick. And essentially you're challenging somebody to be patient. So how do we beat this, right? Well, if you're looking at this, the first thing to do is like, look where there's grass and there's not coverage of the circles. So you have in front of the two quarter flats, in front of the two purple circles, you have a lot of grass. You have a lot of room. Also, what is everybody going to be doing in a cover four? You can see all of their stuff is retreating, right? So they're all going to be backpedaling. They're all going to be moving away from the ball. And there's a little bit of room in the middle of the field, but there's going to be a lot of people in the middle of the field. So you have to be very careful with that. So in order to attack this properly, what you have to do is you have to counter what they're trying to do. So if they're running away from it, you have to be staying close to it. So you either run the ball or you throw it short. Now, throwing it short can be difficult because they might be pulling people up. They might move people closer to the line and throwing it short may be difficult simply because there's people around the ball like this, right? So like, and these people are considered over the top, but at the same time, short. So the fastest and easiest way to do this is to run an RPO. I, learned, I love running a lot of RPOs. If people are going to be retreating, get the ball out quickly. Throw the ball short. And the fastest way to beat a cover four is on the sidelines and short. Like hitch routes, uh, flat routes, anything like that. Now, why like why do I like running RPOs? Because to, in order to beat cover four, you either throw it short or you run the ball against it. This gives you the option of both. So today I'm going to teach you how to read this RPO. So if you want to throw the ball, right now we're looking at two things. We're looking at R1 and we're looking at the guy who's on R1. If this person stays with our person, we're going to hold the ball and, and, and run the ball. So in order to run the ball in this situation, you don't hit anything. You just... Hike it, and then you just don't hit anything with your controller, and then you just run the ball. All right? And that will run the ball. Now, if we're watching the guy who's on R1, if he does anything, if he steps inside, tries to attack our triangle route, if he stays where he is, he's done. He's done for. You can you And he's supposed to be retreating. So what you do here is you hike the ball, and then you're going to hit R1 quickly. He retreated, boom, and you're out on the sidelines and you're gone. 15 yards, boom, just like that. You don't always have to throw the ball 15 yards to get 15 yards. RPOs are one of the biggest and best things, and I'm going to do an entire video on all the RPOs and how to read every single one of them. So you're definitely going to want to like and subscribe to check it out. But if you want to beat cover four, the fastest way to do it is to run an RPO. And even if you if this bubble was taken up, say he hot routed his guy, right? And even if they cover R1, you still have a hitch route on the other side that you can throw. Same thing, short routes, chew up the yards after catch. Boom. Eight yards. And then you just do this over and over again. And then if you wanted to, like, I love using Wake Forest's playbook because they have so many options for RPOs, right? So, for instance, we can do this one right here. RPO read Y flat. This is another one. 
Someone's in cover four again. Where he, same thing, same read. The A is your it's, it's your read. If he moves at all to the inside, we're getting on the outside there. If not, you just hand the ball off. And we're on the outside. Five yards, six yards, fumble, but whatever. He just moved forward. He didn't move out with the guy, right? He's stuck in no man's land. 10 yards, 12 yards, stuck in no man's land. They can't do this. You can literally do this all day. It doesn't matter which side you go to. It doesn't matter what you throw to. You can literally do this all day. All day. And then they're going to eventually move out of cover four. They're not going to play cover four anymore because you don't have to throw the ball any further than a couple of feet. And it's, it's that simple. You can do this stuff all day against cover four. You can break big ones, and you can just dominate people just by throwing the ball quickly. You don't have to worry about getting sacked. You don't have to do any of that. You just read the guy. As soon as they move at all, you're out on the edge. And that's how you beat cover four. Run RPOs. It gives you the two things in order to beat them. And the first thing is running the ball or throwing it on the outside on a quick hit route. That's how you beat cover four. I hope this helped. Like, subscribe. Stay tuned for my video on how to read all RPOs and speed options and triple options, all of that stuff coming out soon. We'll catch you in another video later.